I love baking, especially for people I love. But it's not, it's not all cats. Cheese, please, cheese, click, okay. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Hello and welcome back to the vlog. I literally just rolled out of bed. <laughs> It's Saturday morning. It's gonna be a weekend in the life vlog. We have some fun things happening this weekend. Today's pretty much a chill day, except we are like rolling out of bed going to Costco type of Saturday morning. It's 9.30, Costco's opening, and we need to get out the door to beat the crowd. But it's also my mom's birthday weekend. So tomorrow we'll be doing a bunch of different things, but today we're gonna prep, bake a cake, get her present wrapped, I also want to clean the house a little bit and I have some computer work to get done. So we're gonna get a lot of things done today. But the way I kinda of wanna do this is go to Costco, come home, do my journaling and reading on the couch and like still hold on to my slow morning. <laughs> but after Costco, I guess is how it's gonna look. That's kind of where we're at for now. So I just wanted to say hi, hello, but let's get to the store. I need coffee so bad, so bad. So good to be home. All right, yeah. We've reached the point in the day where it's necessary to just kind of do a little bit of cleaning. Tonight, I'm gonna bake my mom's birthday cake. She also has requested chocolate covered date treats. <laughs> so I'm gonna make those tonight, but this kitchen and just our spaces are not the cleanest. So I'm gonna clean while I work out, just like in between workout sets, I'll be cleaning. So let's, let's do a zoomed up version of, <laughs> of this whole ordeal. It is time to start baking my mom's cake. Marg and I have just made it a tradition now for every birthday in our family to offer to make a cake and ask for a special request. And I was really trying to hold off baking because the oven does make the house so hot and it's been warmer because um, it's officially summer out there. But I think it's starting to cool down now. So I figure if I open some windows, turn on the fan, I think we'll be, okay, I'm trying to really not run the AC as much as we can. Cause when it gets really hot, that's when we're gonna need it right now. We're doing okay. My mom requested the childhood cake that we always had. Chocolate bundt cake with cream cheese filling. I don't have a bundt cake pan. So then I was looking at recipes that kind of were the same idea. And two, I had two options. I had one that was just like a chocolate cake with cream cheese frosting, which is gonna be very similar as far as flavor profile goes. And then I was um, looking at a cake that was chocolate with a cheesecake, literally cheesecake filling, but I don't have the right pan for that either. And so I decided to go with chocolate with cream cheese frosting and I'm gonna do it in our signature little, we have six inch pans, so I'm gonna do a signature little layered cake that way. And I think it's going to be delicious. How can you go wrong with chocolate and cream cheese frosting? You just can't. So I'm gonna get all my ingredients out first and then we'll just bake away. I love baking, especially for people I love. So I am just excited to get to vibe out in my kitchen.
happy Sunday. <laughs> you guys, I spent like five hours in the kitchen last night. <laughs> um, yeah, just baking and making, um, I made the cake. And then fun tip, I had left over, like, because when you cut the cakes to make them, um, like when you put cut them in half or you, you chop off the top, you have all this extra cake. Um, and then I had extra frosting. And so I made cake, um, what are those called? Cake pops. And so I figured, oh, I'll make those and bring them. We're going to brunch this morning. Um, and my niece and nephew will be there. So maybe I'll bring them for them to take home. Hi, people on the vlog, watching the vlog. Sasha vlog cam. I did make the chocolate covered dates. My mom had requested. I've made those before, I think, with you guys, but maybe not. Um, it's just, you take, we take medjool dates and we pit them and then put almond butter inside and we put, um, we cover them with dark chocolate. Like I melt some dark chocolate and cover them. So those should be pretty good because they're one of my favorite little treats. It's kind of a hack if you're trying not to eat so much like processed sugar and stuff. Those are a good thing to, do, to have in your freezer because you freeze them and then they just, they're like candy, frozen candy. So after I baked, I did my hair. I did the heatless curlers. I actually did this last Thursday too. And yesterday was day three of that hair. And I actually really like how it kind of just ends up falling. Um, I'm trying obviously all these different things to not put too much heat on my hair. So letting my hair go wild and free or doing this seems to be a pretty good option. So this has to fall. Like it's really, really springy right now. It falls um, and then I'll take a straightener to it just in certain areas to kind of help it, help it find some gravity. <laughs> um, so that's, that's really what we've got going on. I'm making coffee right now. So I figured I would just say hi, good morning. And I'm going to wrap my mom's gift and take that with us to brunch. For brunch, by the way, we're going to a place called Chase's in Laverne, in Old Town Laverne. I've never been there. I've heard really good things. I've had some friends that have gone there and like recommended it, but it's one of my mom's favorite places, but I don't think she's ever been there for brunch and she doesn't know exactly where we're going. She knows we're going to brunch. My stepdad is bringing her and so he knows the details and my siblings all know. Let me show you what I am giving her. I use the simple modern um, tumbler for my water and I love it. Um, I love how simple and minimalistic it is. And my sister-in-law saw me using it months ago and was like, oh my gosh, like I've been looking for one just like that. So I got her one for her birthday. And then my mom, she asked for her own tumbler. And I got it in the, well, you'll see it. I think she'll open it for the vlog. I just don't want to pull it all the way out. Maybe I could just pull out a straw. I got it in like the hunter or forest green. I'm not sure exactly what color they said it was. Um, it's really pretty and it's very her. Oh, it just has like a swatch, but it doesn't say what they call the color. It's the darker green. I think it's the only dark green. I have like the sagey color and then she's getting this one. And uh, I'm really excited because it's what she wants. So I'm going to wrap this right now. I'm finishing up her card. How cute is this card? Look at that card. It says mush love on your birthday, but I just liked it because it's like naturey, and my mom is nature girl. I'm gonna finish this up and then pour my coffee and get ready. And then we'll hit the road for brunch. Girl, you'll do anything for a snuggle, huh? Anything. You just like when I wear a big sweater so you can burrito. Look at her. Oh, are you a baby? You my baby? Look, let's carry you like a baby then. You're gonna pretend. Does anybody else say it can, anybody else? I know there's cats that do this. But it's not, it's not all cats. But Sasha, she's a hoot. Cheese, 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 cheese. Click. Okay. Yay! Nice. 
Okay, we're home from brunch. Actually, we've been home for like almost two hours. Had our little Sunday coffee time business <laughs> meeting um, where we just sit together and kind of go over the last week and talk about our wins of the week. And then we plan out our schedules for the week, um, like individual schedules, but then also like just kind of touch base and see like what are our goals for the week that we kind of want to accomplish together, separately, all of that. So that was really nice. And we are actually gonna head to my mom's house in a little bit, in about an hour, where we're having some of her friends over there. So we're gonna play some poker, hang out, have cake, and it'll be really nice. Um, but I right now want to get some things prepped for the week, which means I'm going to prep food. <laughs> That's usually all I ever have to prep. So I um, wanna prep our salmon. Actually, I think for Mark, it's gonna be for tonight, but for me, probably for lunch tomorrow. Well, that's a wrap on a fun weekend. A uh, quick poker recap because I know I recapped last week and wasn't as excited, but we did do a lot better this week and I attribute it to my bucket hat. Um, but no, it was a lot of fun just getting to celebrate uh, my mom and spend time with family today. That would have been cool if it landed on my head. Mark's coming in clutch. Yes, this is this is the hat, the special hat. Um, but anyways, yeah, no, a lot of fun. Uh, I learned a lot today. I was thinking about it, like in terms of patience. Poker in poker, you need to have a lot of good patience. But also, I was thinking about. Um, I'm coming up on, I think this week is like the year mark of me vlogging consistently. Isn't that crazy? Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, and I was just thinking about uh, some exciting things that are coming here in terms of sponsorships and just stuff that I've been working towards for a year and just how just remaining patient, just doing things and having a good time is uh, it pays off no matter what, you know, cause you're just, you're just enjoying life. And um, it, it, yeah, poker is a good metaphor for that, I guess. Cause sometimes you're not, you're not hitting it. And then uh, you're just patient throughout the game or throughout the weeks and then things turn around. I'm just very excited for what's to come in the next couple months, um, YouTube wise. So thank you all for being here and spending this sweet little weekend with me. It was really fun. Do you have any parting thoughts, Mark? Any parting thoughts? Yeah, anything you'd like to say? I can't believe it's been a year of vlogging. <laughs> I know. It's been a good year. Yeah. A lot of fun. A lot and, of fun times. Uh, I also am grateful for lessons and patience and all of, all of that stuff. And letting go. Yeah. yeah. Letting go. Letting go has been our big one, especially in 2024 and will continue to be, I'm sure. But with that being said, I... Uh, now I want to go back and watch the very first vlog I put out. I think I will maybe tomorrow just for some fun nostalgia also just to, to kind of compare. What am I doing now? That's different from last year. But anyways, I cannot wait to see you next. So I'll be seeing you in a vlog while we do some assessments and IEP meetings and all that fun stuff. All right. Have a good one. I'm going to go back and watch my first vlog and cringe.